Welcome to this series of Mindset Kabanga Educator videos on Grade 5 Natural Science. My name is Risho Kechwi. The Natural Sciences Learning Area is divided into four distinct content areas, and these being life and living, planet Earth and beyond, matter and materials, and energy and change. These themes correspond roughly to the disciplines of life sciences or biology, if you like, physical geography, chemistry, and physics, respectively. In the intermediate and senior school phases, these content areas are further subdivided into a number of strands, as we shall see. The second episode in our series will focus on planet Earth and beyond, where we will observe boys and girls actively learning about planet Earth and other heavenly bodies. Today in studio with me is Anya Goya. Hello, Anya. Hello, everyone. Anya has had experience teaching in primary and in high schools. She has also lectured in teacher education institutions and has a special interest in concept development in science. Anya, what is Planet Earth and Beyond all about? Sure, it's about the Earth, which is our home, and then the other heavenly bodies. And heavenly bodies, what are those? Well, that's everything beyond the Earth. So things like the stars, the planets, the moons. And actually, the learners often get confused between the stars and the planets. But I think we'll discuss that just now. So Anya, is this content also divided into different strands? Yes, Shoki. The first thing we look at is our place in space. So it looks at things like the stars, the moons, looks like things like day and night. Then we look at atmosphere and weather rainfall, the atmosphere, the winds, water cycle, seasons, length of day. And then lastly, we look at the changing Earth, because the Earth is constantly being changed by forces on it and forces under it. So we're looking at things like soil, rock, fossils, erosion, and then things like quality of water. So after everything else that you've said, how can we sum it up for everybody to understand? Well, I think the way to do it is to look at the revised national curriculum statements because they put it quite clearly. They say if you look at the planet Earth, we are part of a huge solar system and that's part of an immense galaxy. If we're looking at the atmosphere and weather, then the atmosphere interacts with the land, the oceans, the water, and is responsible for moving energy and water from place to place. And the Earth's surface, as we said, is constantly being changed by the forces on it or the forces under it. So those are the three aspects. Earlier you said something about stars and planets. How does that come in? Yes, because learners often get confused, and I think we need to make sure that they understand what it means. If you're looking at a star like our sun, it shines because it generates its own light. But if you're looking at the planets, they reflect light, and that's why they're visible. There are other areas also in the Earth sciences that confused the learners, but I think we must discuss those later. Oh, thank you very much, Anya, for joining me here in studio. Thank you. Now let's look at some learners in action and remember to look out for the key points in the classroom study. Different groups will engage in different tasks. The viewer should be aware that we are illustrating a number of different learning activities which are suitable for different topics. We are not suggesting that we are representing a natural science classroom at any one time. Rather, we are representing a slice of several different classrooms at several different times. The teacher must facilitate the groups and check that all learners are participating. This group is using a tennis ball and a smaller ball to represent the sun and the earth. They will investigate the causes of day and night and the seasons. These children are finding out some of the properties of different rocks. For example, they will discover that some rocks even float on water.
The learners in this group are using a bottle with icy water to demonstrate how water vapor condenses to form liquid water. This group is investigating the properties of soil. have been observing the shape of the moon over the past month. They are putting the information together to make a moon calendar. The learners are doing something constructive, not sitting passively. The teacher is there, but not in a dominant role. You're going to bring in all the pieces of homework for me. Uh, Jean and Fatima will bring in the equipment that we use, and Kiasha will call Learners should up. also develop a sense of responsibility and not just rush out madly after the lesson. Time should be allocated for tidying up. The teacher should collect the work and read it at the first opportunity. This teacher is examining the work completed by the learners. He will correct the mistakes, make a note of common mistakes, interesting ideas, and remember to discuss these later. back your pieces of work now. At the next lesson, the teacher should return the work and comment on it. In this way, learners find out lots of things for themselves. They develop science skills and they also develop a sense of self-reliance. We have seen some examples of learners conducting investigations, planet Earth and beyond. Did you notice the learners doing the soil study? Well, this activity shows how you could link the life and living strand to the planet Earth and beyond strand. Remember that we have looked at a number of examples of learner activities and not a single lesson. In this insert, the learners and the learning materials were the focus of the lesson and not the teacher. The teacher's role is to design activities, organize the group of learners, and where necessary to interact with learners to support their learning. The learners in these lesson slices were developing many science skills, like observing. Uh, I see this is lovely. Is it wet outside? Oh, is it? Yeah, it's wet. It's wet. Oh, it's right. Let's okay. uh, put your finger inside and feel how it feels. Ah, oh, it's cold. Conducting investigations. Following instructions. Working with models. forming a hypothesis. 
The ice, ice is, is, is cold, 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 cold. Is it wet outside? Or is it? Yeah, it's wet. It's wet. Oh, right. Let's okay. uh, put your thing inside and feel how it feels. Ice. Ah, oh, it's cold. What other skills did you notice? Think about it. Till next time, from me, Risha Ketri. Goodbye.